it's Andrew Huang. I wanted to share about all the ridiculous shooting that went into my most recent music video, Slow Down. Fitting with the title and the theme of the song, we relied heavily on filming techniques that change our perception of time. Namely, high frame rate shooting, which when played back at regular speed appears as slow motion, and one of my favorite techniques, time lapse, where photos taken over a long period are played back as video, creating this hyper fast passage of time. I don't know if you've ever spent an hour lip syncing one verse of a song, but I have, and it is tedious. Another cool thing about this video is that we have locations from all around the world, in part because it was shot while traveling, but also because we rounded it out with a bit of stock footage. And full disclosure, this video is being sponsored by Videoblocks. It was really perfect actually that they reached out to me recently because it's a site that I was already using for this video and some of my past work. It's a fantastic stock footage library with over 2 million clips, so thank you to Videoblocks. I think the stock footage we used blended in really well with what we shot ourselves. I will toot my own horn and say I shoot a pretty sick time lapse. So let's dive into the process of making Slow Down. The song is from my album The Coldest Darkness, which came out in December 2013, and I started working on the music video with my brother-in-law Phil in April of 2014. Yes, that is over two and a half years ago. He and my wife and I all have the privilege of having freelance jobs, so we thought it would be ridiculous not to take the chance to travel while we're young. The internet allowed us to keep working and stay in touch with our friends and family, so we took off for about a year and went to some really cool places, shooting Slow Down along the way. In the final cut, there are shots from Mel Melbourne, Tokyo, Paris, Los Angeles, and a few we got in Toronto after getting back home. Our slow motion was shot at 120 frames per second, so five times slower when played back at normal speed. The time lapses are definitely the coolest part of the video though, and they are what I built the whole concept on. The song is about the pull of culture and society telling us to always work more so that we can buy more, and to keep up with the latest trends even though they're changing faster and faster, and to always be stimulated by whatever's on your devices, and the feeling of needing to step away from that. So I wanted the mood of the video to reflect the fast paced nature of modern life, and I wanted to show it from all around the world. But of course the most extreme time lapses were the ones where I was in the shot, I would spend anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour lip-syncing part of the song painstakingly slowly. Phil had the camera pointed at me on a tripod set up to take a shot every few seconds and he would let me know every time the shutter was about to go off and we would have my phone somewhere in my sight line where I had saved hundreds of pictures of what my mouth should look like in each frame. To prepare for this I had filmed myself lip syncing the song at normal speed and I exported all the individual frames of that video. So that's what I was looking at as I tried to stay completely still and just slightly change the shape of my mouth and hold it that way for each new photo. Sometimes for a to an hour and I just had to get completely in the zone. Nothing existed except me and this camera and trying to nail these mouth poses. Phil told me I was getting tons of weird looks from people walking by because here I am standing completely still, usually with my mouth open and in some cases the camera was 10 or 20 feet away so they wouldn't even see it and make the connection that oh maybe he's doing something for a photography project. I was just a weirdo standing slack jawed and motionless in the street and sometimes that is how you make a music video. If you haven't already I hope I hope you will watch and share Slow Down. We worked really hard on it and I'm so happy that it's out now. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. Also, you can go to videoblocks.com slash holidays or click the link in the description box below to get $50 off one year of video blocks. Just especially want to offer you to say thanks for watching, stay creative, and good luck with all your own projects. I'll see you next time.